Good morning everyone, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. So today I just wanna to share a really quick, awesome, yummy recipe with you. I've made this recipe many times before. It's called a angel food tunnel cake. Um, I'm actually gonna be heading off to a staff meeting here very shortly and I volunteered to make the dessert today. And this is just such a quick, easy thing to put whip together and uh, it's really, really super yummy. And for any of you that are kind of watching your waistline, uh, it's also a really good dessert for that because as you know, angel food cake has very little calories and fat in it. So it's one of those kind of guilt-free kind of desserts that you can enjoy and not feel bad about it after. So I'm just gonna jump in and show you how I put this together. So I'm just gonna quickly go over the items that you're gonna need for this dessert. So obviously you're going to need a prepared angel food cake. So I actually baked this uh, last night and it came out nice and light and fluffy. And you'll notice that I've got it in my handy dandy Dollar Tree uh, cake carrier. This is gonna come in handy today and uh, I've used this many times already. What a great buy from Dollar Tree, I love that thing. You're also going to need some Cool Whip. Now you could also use whipping cream if you wanted to. Uh, and I'm using, to try to keep this as low-cal as I can, I'm using the Light today. And I've had this in the fridge overnight so it's um, not frozen anymore, it's all thawed out. You're gonna need some pudding or something. You could also use yogurt, you could use um, cream cheese, you could use a lot of different things for this. But I like to just use just plain old, simple vanilla packaged uh, pudding. And then you're also going to need, for this particular one that I'm gonna to do today, I'm using crushed pineapple. Now I've already drained this and I actually have it in a sieve and I've kind of squeezed all the liquid out. If you're gonna be using any kind of canned fruit, you wanna make sure that you really get as much of the liquid out as possible because you don't want your cake to get soggy. So like I said, I'm using pineapple today. You could use fresh fruit of any kind. You could use pe canned peaches. You could use canned apricots. I mean, the sky's the limit with this recipe and that's what I love about it. it is, it's very versatile. And just basically use whatever you like or whatever you happen to have on hand. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to cut the top part off um, and you're gonna leave this is gonna be your lid. <laughs> so you wanna leave, I don't know, about an inch or so. And it's e easiest to do this with a nice ser sharp serrated knife. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to just carefully cut the top of my cake off here. And just be careful as you go around. I find that the serrated knife works much better. And if you just kind of use kind of like a seesaw motion here, um, you will have no problems getting through this. And as also if you kind of chill your cake ahead of time, I've had this in the fridge overnight, so it makes it a little easier as well. So that's about as thick as I've made it there. So I'm just gonna take this piece off, set that aside on a plate. And now I'm gonna show you how to actually make the towel. So again, with a nice sharp knife, I'm just using like a steak knife here and it's also serrated. So it, I just find that if you have a serrated knife, it works better. Um, so what you wanna do is you're gonna actually cut two circles. You're gonna cut a circle about a half an inch from the outside and you're gonna cut a circle about a half an inch from the inside. But you don't wanna cut all the way down to the bottom of the cake. You wanna leave probably about a half an inch or so. So I'm gonna start, let's start on the inside here. So I'm gonna cut, start cutting. And again, just use that kind of up and down seesaw motion as you go around. You wanna make sure you're leaving enough cake on the inside so that your filling will stay in place. So you just make your little cut. So I've gone all the way around. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well, but I've gone all the way around on the inside. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the outside. Again, leaving a good, I don't know, half inch to an inch amount of cake on the outside so that you'll have a good wall here so your filling won't spill out. <laughs> but just keep going all the way around. Almost there. See how the serrated knife works really well. You just kind of just keep bringing it up and down. There. So I've gone all the way around on the outside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a bowl and you're going to literally just pull this middle section the cake, just pull it right out. You don't have to be too fussy with this, just pull it out. And like I said, you wanna leave a little bit on the bottom so that your filling has something to sit on. And just keep pulling. And you don't, you're not, don't worry, you're not gonna waste this cake here. This is actually gonna be part of our filling. There, 
So I'll show you what this looks like now. So I've got it hollowed out just like that. So I've got a nice base here for my filling to sit in and I've got a nice wall uh, on either side so that my filling won't spill out. So now the next step is to actually make the filling. So this extra cake that I pulled out, I'm gonna just use my hands and I'm just gonna pull it into little bite-sized pieces. You could cut it with a knife if you want, but I'm not gonna get too fussy with this. I'm just gonna kinda break it apart with my fingers. Now that I've got that all pulled apart, nice little pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and put a, probably a couple containers of this pudding, vanilla pudding. You could use butterscotch, and, I mean, you could use whatever flavor you really would prefer, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the vanilla in here. It's just gonna kinda of help everything stay together. So I'll put one more in there. So the last thing I'm going to add is my crushed pineapple. Like I said, I've drained this really well and I took a spoon and I actually pushed all the fruit kind of down to the bottom of the sieve so I could really squeeze out the last little bit of moisture out of there. So I'll just add my crushed pineapple in here. And then we'll just mix this all together. And this is how simple this is. Oh my goodness. It smells really good too. And I think that's going to be plenty wet enough. I don't think I need any more pudding in there. You could also add a little bit if you had extra whipping cream or extra Cool Whip, which I don't, you know, I think these containers seem to get smaller and smaller every time I buy these. So I don't really want to add any inside this filling because I think I'm going to need all of this to ice the outside of my cake. So, but you could, you definitely could put a little bit of Cool Whip or whatever in here just to make it a little bit more, you know, a little tastier, but there we go. So that's my filling. So now all I have to do is just put the filling inside the little tunnel that we made here. It really couldn't be any easier than this. You just spoon it right in there. And almost there. Okay, so there you have it. That's all filled up now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top piece back on. And then all that's left for us to do is just ice it with the Cool Whip. So I wanna make sure I get everything covered really well. So I'm actually gonna start in here in the middle. And I usually just take the back end of my spoon like this and I find this is the easiest way to get inside here and try not to get a bunch of crumbs. <laughs> Sometimes that's hard though, especially with an angel food cake, it can be kind of crummy. And the great thing about this cake too is it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And then once I kind of get that part done, then I just basically just spoon some of this right on top. You could get fancy and you could put some of this in a piping bag and you could, you know, pipe some rosettes or whatever on here as well. But for today, I'm just in a bit of a hurry, so I'm not going to get too fussy with this. I just kind of want to get this covered. And you could also, what I've done in the past, is I've actually taken some of that fancy coconut that you get, you know, the long fancy coconut, and I've put it on a cookie sheet and put it under the broiler and toasted it just a little bit, just ever so slightly, just to kind of get it just barely brown. And then um, 
sprinkle that on afterwards and it looks really good and it pairs really well. The coconut pairs really well with the pineapple and that's really good as well. And then you really don't have to worry so much about what your icing job looks like because the coconut kind of covers it all up. <laughs> but I know there's a couple of ladies in my office that don't, they're not real huge coconut fans. So I am not going to do the coconut thing today, but um, like I, said, I have done that many times and it's really good. You just have to really watch when you're broiling the coconut that you don't burn it because it burns very, very easily. So you can see how quick this cake is coming together, especially if you bake the cake the night before. Um, icing it and putting it together is so quick and easy. So you could use whipping cream, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of trying to keep this low cal and low fat. But I mean, by all means, use whatever you want. So I'm just gonna keep icing this and when I've got it all done, I will show you the final product. So there is my iced angel food tunnel cake all ready to go to my staff meeting. <laughs> all I need to do is just put my little cover on here and I'm hoping this is gonna fit without wrecking my icing job here. Let's see, let's see, will it fit, will it fit? Oh my gosh, look at that, it fits perfectly. Um, I will have, I will give you one little tip with these little carrying cases though, even though you know they seem like they're locked into place and I just would hate to trust it, I always carry it from the bottom and not from just the handle here because yeah, you would, wouldn't would want to have a little accident with your all your hard work here. But you've seen how easy that came together? I bet you I whipped this up in like 15 minutes or less. Like that was so easy and simple and this really is so yummy and everyone's gonna love it i'm sure so i hope this has inspired you guys to try to make your own tunnel cake like i said experiment with different flavors different fillings different you could put different things on the outside you could put some sprinkles or coconut or whatever nuts would be really good too um but i'm just kept it very simple today just because i was in a bit of a time crunch and I wanted to keep it as simple as possible and as low cal as possible as well. So hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys give this recipe a whirl. All right, till next time, I'll catch you again. Bye for now, everyone.